In this lesson, we will look at a number of features for ignoring errors in TypeScript. We will look at how you can ignore errors for specific lines as well as for the whole file. We will mention a particularly nasty thing to watch out for when ignoring line errors. And finally, we will look at an interesting real-world hack to performance optimization made possible only by ignoring line errors. So let's go. Here we have some conditional code in our application. Now it is common when dealing with conditional code that you want to set it to true or false in order to test that a particular portion of your application is working fine. However, in this particular case, we get an error from TypeScript that some unreachable code is detected. Now just while developing, you can actually silence this particular error by adding a comment at tsignore and this will ignore any errors on the line that follows. Alternatively, you can ignore all errors in a particular file by adding the comment on the first line called at tsnocheck. This disables all form of error reporting for this particular file from TypeScript. And of course, it goes without saying that you should use these options as little as possible and try not to use them in production code. Now, one more thing to be aware of with tsignore is that it will ignore all errors on the following line. So if we have multiple errors, for example, here we have a typo, a variable that we haven't even declared. So we have two errors on this line. And if we add a tsignore on the line before, both of these errors are silenced. One more thing worth mentioning is that you can add a comment after a tsignore or tsnocheck to explain the rationale why you are ignoring errors. Now, as promised, let's look at a use case where you might want to use tsignore in production code. Here we have type definitions for a circle or a square, and then we have an example which might be a circle or a square. Now, in our particular application, based on this global condition called some condition, we know that example will be a circle. But there is nothing in TypeScript's mind that is linking some condition to example being a circle. So it will complain that radius is not something that you can read from a circle or a square. Now, an ideal fix would be to add a runtime type card in a form that TypeScript understands. For example, an in JavaScript type card, maybe check that example does have the radius property. And now TypeScript will understand that, okay, at runtime, radius must exist on example. However, this particular type card or any other that you might add will have some runtime execution cost. And in any application code that I have ever written, I would happily pay that cost. But if you are someone who is extremely particular about performance and want to avoid that, you can actually declare example to be a local variable within this block to be of type circle, and then add a comment tsignore to tell TypeScript to ignore the fact that you are using declarations in an actual code file. Now, as far as TypeScript is concerned, example is going to be a circle within this particular block. Of course, this is something that is particularly hacky and might stop working at some point in the future. But now you understand that you can use tsignore to trick TypeScript into thinking pretty much whatever you want. I would personally only use tsignore and tsnocheck for migrating old code or for doing some manual testing in my own local code base. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.